Hello, this is Ray Main here again with today's Bible reading. Today we're going to be reading in the book of Jude. Jude is another one chapter book. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't really tell you the history of Jude. I don't know where he came from or what. Evidently, he was uh, somebody that was important enough to be put in the Bible. However, I want to point out a, a couple of things. Uh, here at the start said Jude the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called this isn't just talking to them this letter is addressed to you and I as well if you're sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus and called okay so this letter is to you and I Mercy unto you, and peace, and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. What is that? In my opinion, and I'm going to say it that way, in my opinion, the faith that was once delivered unto the saints was faith in God and His Son, Jesus Christ, who came to die for your sins and mine. He came to pay the price for your sins and mine. Uh, that's what I look at as the faith that was once delivered unto the saints. Now, this, is, this letter was written later, uh, after that... Uh, uh, Jesus was crucified uh, several years later and then you have people coming into the church uh, trying to take over uh, and, and move things back to where they can be in control again and folks that hasn't stopped uh, we've got that still going on in the church today and if you don't believe it is in your church you don't have your eyes open because there are people that are there I'm not saying that to make you suspicious of everybody. I'm saying that to tell you the same as uh, as if you were going into lion country. Be careful. There's lions out here. Or if you were out in the wilderness, uh, there are bears out here. Be careful. Watch what you're doing. It's the same thing. Okay? Fourth verse. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Now, I'm talking about people that have just put on a cloak of righteousness, but uh, they're not really right, okay? A cloak ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I will, th see, let me back up here. This, uh, I have known men in the past that have told women in the church that it was all right. That's not in our church, thank God, but I have known men that, uh, that I'm aware of anyway, that have, uh, you know, they were putting on a front about being a man of God and have told women that it was all right to have sex with them because they were a man of God and God would cover that. This is this is uh, garbage, but uh, I'm telling you, there are people that use this uh, cloak of, of righteousness, this cloak of authority, to give what they want, whether it's in the natural or the spiritual. It's both places. So be aware, be sober, be vigilant for your adversary, the devil, walking around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he might devour, and that can be right inside the church. Uh, you can go back to the book of Job and uh, read said where all the children of, uh, of God come to, you know come to him I forget just how it says that. it's the first verse first chapter of Job uh, and it said uh, Satan was there also remember that I will therefore put you in remembrance though you once knew this how that the Lord having saved the people out of the land of Egypt afterward destroyed them that believed not and angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting change under darkness, under the judgment of the great day. 
even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, all these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. But these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally, as brute beasts, in those things they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them! For they have gone in the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the heir of Balaam for reward, and perished in the gainsaying of Korah. These are spots in your feast of charity, when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear, clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, trees whose fruit withereth, without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. In other words, they don't have any fruit, they don't have anything to give you that's going to help you. Raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame, wandering stars, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, Adam prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints, to execute judgment upon all, and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts, and their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. But, beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time, who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. These be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the Spirit, that is a qualification there. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And of some have compassion, making a difference. So that's the reading of Jude. I trust that you'll have a blessed day. Uh, We'll talk to you tomorrow.